Hey guys, it's uh, Rick here, and today I'm making a video of this late 1980s or possibly early 1990s uh, Windmere 9 inch oscillating fan. Um, I got this from a, a pretty cool salvage store um, near the Purdue campus where I go to college. Um, the place I got it from is actually pretty cool. They um, they usually have uh, at least one or two vintage fans there, and um, this is one that caught my interest. Um, I think I got it back in late late September, early October or so um, in 2014, so I've had it a couple of months now. But uh, anyway, um, this one caught my interest because I don't really have any fans from this era. Um, most of the fans I have are from like 1980s or older. Um, this one's, you know, late 80s, early 90s, so... Um, thought this would be a neat addition to my collection. Um, I, the interesting thing is it kind of looks like a transition model. Um, to me, the color scheme, um, you know, especially the gray and white contrast, looks very 90s. Um, a lot of 90s fans had something kind of like that. Um, and then uh, the overall design looks more 80s, though, you know, with the big uh, aluminum cage and, uh, you know, the nice uh, chrome center plate there. And then, uh, you know, big plastic plastic base with the push buttons. Um, to me that looks more 80s, so um, kind of a neat transition model. Um, I believe this fan was probably made by, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation, but something to the effect of um, Kuo Horing, um, something like that. Um, that's what collectors and I believe was probably the original manufacturer of this, and then, um, you know, it's obviously rebadged Windmere. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just a basic uh, two-speed oscillating fan. Um, it's in pretty good shape overall. Um, really no surface rust at all on the cage, which is nice, nice and shiny. Um, the center plate's a little bit scratched here and there, but not bad. Um, cleaned up well. Um, base is in completely intact, no cracks or damage to it. Um, the label on it's actually really clean too, um, surprisingly not damaged at all. Um, the buttons are all intact, but um, as you can see, they are um, a bit yellowed, unfortunately. Um, I'm guessing this fan was probably, you know, sitting under some fluorescent lights or in sunlight or something for several years, and that's probably what happened. But other than the buttons, um, and really none of the other plastics yellowed too bad. Um, you know, the base is nice and clean, and the uh, motor housing is also not yellowed at all. This, the little joint there between the base and the motor housing is, a, is like, really yellowed for some reason, but... Not sure, maybe just the type of plastic they used on that and the buttons. But overall, it's not bad at all. I mean, hard to complain. Um, as you can see, it's uh, got the oscillator there. Um, the blades are plastic um, in kind of like a translucent tra translucent gray color. Um, pretty neat. I don't, I don't think I have any, uh, you know, gray-bladed fans of this style. Um, I have some that are, you know, blue-bladed or green, but um, no gray ones until this one. Um... Yeah, not much else to say. Um, I'll uh, go ahead and show it running now. Uh, let's see, let's go with uh, high speed first. It does have a um, kind of a hum to it. Um, I'm really not sure exactly what's causing it. I, um, I tightened down all the screws that I could find and you know made sure everything was nice and snug. Um, but for some reason there's kind of a hum that resonates through the bass. Usually it kind of settles down after the fan's been running for a while, but I mean obviously it hasn't been on much until I just turned it on for this video. But it does run quite smoothly. I mean I oiled it and everything. Decent airflow too. Yeah, I mean, for a fan of this time, it's pretty powerful, I think. Okay, and then we'll go down to low speed. The hum's uh, a lot more reduced on low speed, so I use it on low most of the time.
Okay, and then we'll go back to off. It's got a pretty good spin down time too. I mean, considering the blades are you know pretty light plastic, I think the oil, the oil I put into it really helped. Okay, and I'm um, gonna go ahead and engage the oscillator here, and go back to high speed. Got a nice slow oscillation, I really like that. Okay, and then we'll go back to low. And uh, go back to off. So, um, all right. Uh, thanks for watching, and there'll be more videos to come. Bye bye.